Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, where we deep dive into tech concepts and make them simple for everyone. Today we are talking about Hugging Face access tokens. We'll see how to create access token on Hugging Face and we'll also see what all different types of access tokens are there on Hugging Face and uh, we'll see uh, which one to use for one specific use case. So we'll go forward and open a Hugging Face website cool then we click on the settings as you can see we have a settings on the left sidebar here we click on access tokens then we'll click on the create tokens as you can see we have three types of access tokens over here fine grained read and write so let's start with the fine grained tokens now these are like giving someone a key that only works for one specific door you can use them to provide access to very specific resources. For example, just a particular model or a model within specific organization. Uh, it is useful in production environments. You might not want to expose all your resources. Instead, you can generate a fine grain tokens, which allow you to use only what's needed without uh, sharing access to everything else. It's a secure and practical way to manage access, especially when you are scaling up and working with external collaborators. Now we talk about uh, read tokens. Uh, they are more straightforward. They are designed to provide read only access. It means you can download repositories. You are ready. Uh, you already have permissions to ready uh, the read repositories. Uh, that includes both public repositories and private funds from your organization. This type of token is perfect when you just want to fetch or use resources like downloading private models or running inference. Now you want to talk about write tokens. Uh, write tokens uh, these take things a step further right uh, so they not only provide read access but they also let you create and modify the content for example you are training a new model and need to push updates to your repo or if you are modifying a model card this is a token uh, you need to write essentially if you are planning to write edit or update anything on the hugging face hub make sure you have this uh, particular type of token now we'll see how to create them so for example, I want to create a write token. So I'll write the name of the token over here that I want token for my intent classification application, let's say. I click on the create token. The token would be created. And uh, then we can paste this particular token in whatever location we want. Uh, then we get the right access to the repositories and we can use this for specific use case. In this way, guys, we can create a hugging face tokens and uh, you, you must know this one. Thank you.